Washington, D.C. I'm Ray Suarez, and this is Destination Casablanca 2008. In the U.S., the burden of producing the world's most affordable food supply falls on the shoulders of farm workers. But the men and women who labor to put food on our tables often can't afford to buy that food for themselves or for their families. Nowhere is that more apparent than North Carolina, holding its Democratic presidential primary May 6th. Every year, millions of immigrants come to the U.S. in search of job opportunities. Some work in factories, some come to work at the fields. But the truth is that these people have become a vital workforce in the nation's economic infrastructure. Onesimo Juarez is a 55-year-old Mexican farmer that has been working on the fields since he was 10 years old. He is now part of a federal initiative called the Guest Worker Program an official invitation of the government to help manage the growing shortage of farm workers. The job that workers do here varies. I come to plant tobacco, but I also have to help out with the cleaning. I drive trucks moving equipment around, but the work varies depending on what the need is. For the past two years, Mr. Juarez has decided to come to North Carolina with a temporary working permit, known as H-2A visa, that promises a decent job. A lot of people are happy with this visa. They see the benefits of such as coming here legally. We are helping this country to prosper, and we are being helped as well. We work hard here. According to the North Carolina Farm Worker Institute, there are approximately 200,000 farm workers each growing season. And even though working conditions and benefits have improved, for many national advocate organizations, growers are certainly not treating these workers like guests. Other growers, there's major problems ranging from uh, they don't provide the proper protective gear, and so there's pesticide exposures, and which causes um, rashes, other, um, other chemical issues. Um, to the point where we've seen cases of, um, of birth defects in children here in North Carolina. Only 10% of farm workers report having health insurance through an employer, but many say that pre-existing conditions are not covered by these medical plans. Farm workers like Onesimo face higher incidences of heat stress, dermatitis, pesticide-related illnesses and tuberculosis, not only because of their tasks, but also the poor living conditions. The green tobacco is most toxic when you're cutting the leaves. Usually the plant is humid and this moisture gets into your clothes and your pores. You're soaking wet and that's when your skin reacts to these chemicals. It really makes you sick. Federal laws state that under the guest worker program, people like Mr. Juarez can only work for the farmer who brought him to the fields, and that sometimes can be a disadvantage. Other issues that you know, workers face condition-wise are, are just problems with their growers, not receiving full paychecks, um, being cheated of, of hours, growers having complete control of their either their visa or control of their threats of you know, reporting them um, if they have any sort of complaints. Um, so that's why we've al we always focus on giving workers a voice in their, in their workplace by um, having a contract that has a grievance procedure so that workers can speak up for themselves, defend themselves, and be empowered to, to have a voice in their workplace. Nationally, farm workers average an annual income of $11,000 an insignificant amount compared to the rapid economic inflation rate. Workers have received a big blow. On one side, salaries are lower, and at the same time, basic things are more expensive. Last year, you were spending $50 for groceries. Now you have to spend at least $60 for the same thing or less. But despite the long hours, risks, and excruciating hard work, we 
Mr. Juarez says that any sacrifice is worth to provide a better future for his family. If they keep giving this visa, I will continue to come and work here. I have seen improvements and positive results. Four decades after civil rights activist and labor leader Cesar Chavez made the shocking conditions of migrant workers a national cause, farm workers still struggle with below poverty wages, malnutrition and hunger, hazardous and unsanitary working conditions.